Good afternoon and welcome to the latest episode of Playprint 21, the weekly video news bulletin for the Australia and New Zealand print industries. This issue, sponsored by Ball & Doggett, Australia's largest supplier of printable materials and press room consumables, and now supplying wide format equipment. The Fair Work Commission has ruled that both the minimum wage, the minimum wage rate and the industry award wage rates, including those in print, will rise by 3.75% from 1st of July. The rates are compromised between what the unions and the employer groups wanted, uh, with the Commission uh, citing weak productivity in the nation as the reason the increase was not at the level that the workers wanted. Uh, the new national minimum wage for full-time employees will be $915.90 per week, that's based on a 38-hour working week, or $24.10 an hour. Effectively, that's a $33.10 a week or $0.87 an hour increase against the current minimums. From an awards perspective, the Commission has determined to increase modern awards, rate, modern awards wage rates also by 3.75%. As usual, the income and increases to award minimum rates of pay can then be absorbed into an award covered, empl covered in employee current rates of pay, as long as the result leaves their rate of pay at least equal to the increased award minimum rates. The Visual Media Association employees group there said, although it was higher than they would want, it was the best that could be hoped for in what is uh, still a high inflation economy. Charles Watson, General Manager, uh, General Manager of Policy, IT and Governance at the Print Industry Employer, IR, sorry, at the Print Industry Employers Group, Visual Media Association, said, given most in the industry, most companies in the industry pay above the award minimum rates, the impact of the decision on members' wage bills uh, would be minimal. Uh, however, he said, for those that are close to the minimum rates uh, and have to make uh, upward pay rate adjustments, it will further slim down their margins uh, and add to the current increased business costs. Many printers from Australia and New Zealand uh, have been at Drooper this week, or actually for the past two weeks, with be deals being done for new equipment. Australia's largest wholesale printer, CMYK Hub, has made its first inkjet investment uh, at, at Drooper by acquiring two Canon Varioprint IX3200 cut sheet presses at the show. Uh, the trade-only operation is looking at providing even faster turnarounds to its customer base, uh, and will use the new Canon printers for multiple applications including documents, documents and leisure books. CMYK Hub uh, will start by running lighter weight, uncoated and document-based stocks uh, through the IX3200s for letterheads, books and textbooks. And in time, it will transition across more higher coverage products. They would include you know, leisure books, uh, a sector that uh, the company wants to break into. CMYK Hub also made Australia's biggest ever order for Canon Colorado M5W roll-to-roll -roll UV gel printers. Uh, and will install them in all its print facilities across the country over the coming period. Uh, Apex Signage, another company to order at uh, Drupa, they ordered the first Elytron wide format cutting machine to be supplied by Curry Group as part of a deal with Curry that includes a new Canon Colorado M5W, also a Canon Colorado. Uh, Apex ordered the Elytron Spark C flatbed cutter uh, with the Colorado as the digital print solution, significantly upscaling its digital print capability. Uh, it specified the end-to-end -end solution uh, to enable it to differentiate its print products. The business, uh, Apex, which operates out of Sydney, the Gold Coast and Melbourne, uh, offers signage in the retail, in office, construction, events, education sectors. Uh, the greatest show on earth came to an end on Friday uh, with the 11-day drooper setting the scene uh, for the next four years in print. Uh, it was an honour, in fact, to lead, for me to lead the unrivaled Print21 team covering the show. Uh, I've covered it, we covered it from start to finish, and to see so many of you over there. Uh, Print21 produced uh, and distributed some 42 video interviews during the 11 days of the show from all the leading exhibitors, uh, with all of them now available on the print21.com.au news website. Uh, you can check them out anytime uh, to see what the new developments are and uh, you can watch my five minute video shining the spotlight on the major trends at the show, highlighting what the themes were and what they mean for print down under. That's it for this week's, this week's episode of Playprint 21 News. Uh, thanks to our sponsor Ball & Doggett, this is Wayne Robinson, editor of print21.com.au, the only real news location for the printing industry in Australia, uh, signing off for another week.